Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to fix native HDR. As you may have noticed, a lot of games with native HDR look washed out. This is due to something called gamma mismatch. We're going to use reshade with HDR compliant shaders. Of course, this won't work on competitive titles, but you can uh, use it on some online games like Diablo 4 for example, allows reshade and you can fix the gamma on that game. But of course, you must prioritize Reno DX and Luma if available. The point is not to cheap out by using RTX HDR, but rather retain the native HDR qualities while fixing the issues. Before we start installing the mods, I strongly advise you to check out Coclu's HDR gaming database. You have a lot of games covered, he does technical analysis on games, and we can see, for example, if there is a gamma mismatch. And this tutorial will just showcase what to do. So first of all, we're going to install Reshade. So download the Reshade, the regular version, not the full on support as it's not needed. Then launch the app. Select the game of your choice. I will select Divinity Original Sin 2 to showcase the mod. Of course, make sure it's the right exe. Select the API. If you're not sure, check on PC Gaming Wiki. Then click on Next. Uncheck All Shaders. Go down and check Reshade HDR Shaders by Lilium. And go down again and tick Reshade Simple HDR Shaders by Max G3D. Then click on Next. And you're done. All shaders are best tested in-game. Now that we're in-game, press home to open the reshade menu, keep the tutorial, and we have all the shaders. To make th things a bit better, go to the settings and tick group effect files with tabs instead of a 3. And also notice that reshade takes by default HDR PNG's screenshot, which you can easily share on Discord and will appear in HDR or SDR depending on the uh, viewer. Then go to add-on and untick both add-ons as they are unnecessary and just hit performance. Now we're going to work with the shaders. So the first thing you need to do is set analysis at the bottom and tick it. That way you can check out how the game rendering works in an HDR level. So we can notice that the fires are bright and we have all the details on the black floor and stuff like that. So we can adjust the, the shader um, window and an interesting view is the heat map so you can see in real time what's actually bright, what's not, etc, etc. Just make sure it's at the bottom of the list so we, all the changes we do with other shaders are taken in account in the analysis. Now to fix the gamma, we only need the Lilium's HDR black floor fix. Tick it to enable it, then tick enable SDR black floor emulation, keep it at BT709, and in processing cutoff, type the paper white value you set in your game. In general, it's between 200 and 300 nits. And that's it, you just fixed the gamma mismatch. We'll have both better black levels as well as um, better colors and you will have a less washed out image. Then you can start playing. In 99% of cases, it's all you need to do. Of course, if the game doesn't show an arbitrary value of paper white, in general, just stick to 200 nits and adjust if it's too crushed or too washed out. If you play games with Windows Auto HDR or SDR in HDR container, I have a quick solution for you. You can install Lilium shaders with reshade and then just open the menu. You will see that some shaders have errors because they do not detect an HDR pipeline, but it's okay. Just tick Lilium SDR TRC fix. This shader will fix the gamma for these specific scenarios. You have nothing to change in the settings. You can just start playing and you will see directly that the gamma is fixed. Of course, I will show you 
other useful shaders. The Lilium Stone Mapping one allows you to tone map the highlights to your display. If the game has uncapped values, for example Dead Space Remake has 3800 nits peak and uh, Uncharted 4 has 10,000 nits peak. So that's a value you can check out with the analysis, right? And you only need to tick it. Once you've done that, keep BT 2390ETF as the method. Other games might need others, but Cuckoo's should cover that. Target luminance, set the peak brightness of your display. So for example, if you have uh, 800 nits or 1000 nits peak brightness display, you can set that. And in maximum input luminance, set the peak value of the game. As I said, something you can verify with the analysis. And that's it. You just turn up to the highlights of the game. So it's fairly useful. For example, let's space is 3800, Uncharted 4 is 10,000, etc, etc. You get the idea. You might have to change some processing modes depending on the game, but you should check that out in the guide if necessary. But all defaults should work fine. Just keep things simple, guys. No need to go uh, out of your way to test stuff if you don't understand that. As long as the game works, it's fine. Another useful shader is the Lilium HDR Aircast, which adds good sharpening to the game since it's the AMD cast version compatible with HDR. The Luma Film Grain shader can be useful as well if you have a lot of color bending, it can reduce that effect, so you might want to use it in that case. And finally, the HDR saturation shader by Max G3D can help you add gamut expansion to the image so saturate colors a little bit if you think the image is not punchy enough and then you can adjust the image as you want so you can target highlights or make it a global saturation or stuff like that so that's up to you on how to to fix that but yeah if you think the image needs a bit more color a bit more punch you can just use that slide that shader that's it for me thank you for tuning in and see you next time